Wouldn't you love to have time to do the things you want to do in life? Whether it's just to read a book or to go on a walk. Do you feel like you're overscheduled and overworked and you just don't have any free time? This is one of the top questions that I get from many of the women that I work with. They want to learn new things, they want to be creative, but they don't have time. I know exactly how this feels. I have four kids, my own career, I'm married for 14 years, and I also travel and have fun a lot. And people wanna know how I do it all. Here are five ways that you can do it all, because if I can do it, you can do it. Number one, eliminate things from your schedule that don't need to be there. Don't do things that you don't want to do. I'm not talking about going to work. Of course, you'll need to do that if you want to live a, an abundant life. But, you know, don't do things that you feel like you should do. That you feel people would look down on you if you didn't do. So what can you eliminate from your schedule? One of the parameters that I like to use when I'm deciding what to do is if it's not a hell yes, I wanna do this, then it's a hell no, I'm not doing this. So that is number one, you need to eliminate things from your schedule that you don't really wanna do. Number two, consolidate. How can you consolidate your time? A lot of the moms that I know seem like they're running to the store to pick up things every day of the week. And that's not an effective use of your time. So what you need to do is look at your schedule, figure out a day, a time that works for running those errands or doing those extra tasks. Stick to that time block, put all those extra errands into that time block and do it then. Don't run to the store here, run to the store there. Eliminate one to make that time to consolidate your task and errands. Number three is to ask for help. You don't have to do everything yourself. Friends would love to help you. Your family would love to help you. You don't have to tackle everything on your own. So feel free to ask for help. Let me ask you this. If someone asked you for help, wouldn't you gladly want to help them? So many people are nervous to ask for help, yet they would willingly help another person. Other people want to help you too. They just need to know you need that help. Number four, you need to schedule in your free time. This sounds weird, but just like you schedule in days to go to the grocery store, I need to work these days, these days I'm cleaning the house, you need to schedule in a time for nothing. <laughs> you need to schedule in that free time so you can look forward to doing whatever it is you wanna do in that time. It can be laying in your bed if you really want to, or it could be going to a park reading a book, going to a movie, you need to schedule that time in. So that's number four. And the fifth one is set boundaries. Stick to your free time. Don't budge. If you don't give yourself that time, no one else is going to give that to you either. So my task for you is tell me what you're going to eliminate from your schedule. This I know is a hard one. A lot of people, especially women, they feel guilty if they say no. They don't want people to look down on them or they're worried about how they'll be interpreted or their actions. And I'm here to tell you that you can't control what people are gonna think about you, so don't even give it a second thought. You're here to look after yourself so you can look after your family. So don't worry about what other people think. If you say no, it's okay. Uh, I'd love it if you shared this video with your friends. You know, everyone's looking for more ways to have time for themselves, to do the things that they wanna do, to create a life of purpose and do things that matter. So share this video, let me know below what you're going to do to eliminate time or eliminate things from your schedule to create that time for you. And until next time, keep seeking, keep exploring the world and commit to your own time.